Hi guys, I'm Jackie, and I hope my lovely Neko Militia is doing wonderful things out there in the world. One of the things I wanted to complain about, I guess actually talk about, is the problem in the world today where we're playing games constantly. And I don't mean like the type of games that are fun or engaging. I mean, we're constantly paying for titles and games that well, screw us over in the end. You pay $60, $70 for a game full of microtransactions just to keep up with the main story nowadays. Or you pick up this cool, shiny, free-to-play game just to pay constant microtransactions just to be able to keep up with the pay piggies that pay to win the game. We're having a lot of problems in the gaming industry where things are just falling apart. And it's really not helping that YouTube's demonetizing gaming our gaming streamers and stuff like that, forcing us back on the platforms like Twitch, which, well, we're kind of cancerous to begin with. So where am I going with this? Well, I'm kind of going to the point where I look at video gaming and I have to be very picky about everything I see or hear. I don't have the time are the resources really to dump into gaming like I used to and I have games on my list that don't ever get played unfortunately but and no it's not as bad as my anime list my anime list is many years behind eventually I will get caught back up eventually but my point was, is every time I look at Western media, like comic books or video games or what have you, it all seems like it's just getting worse and it doesn't get any better. Um, case in point, anytime I look at a Marvel movie, all I see is propaganda. I don't see anything good written about it or anything like that. And I see a bunch of shill journos that are Oh my god, this is great. This is the greatest thing ever. When in reality, it's subpar. It's terrible. And then I have people that constantly come up to me and they're like, Well, did you see the latest Super or super This movie or the latest This movie? And I'm like, it just really doesn't look appealing to me. And I don't know if that's just that I've become more cynical over the years or... If it's true that an autistic person actually cannot see between or see the propaganda. But I remember sitting in the theater and I was watching Capital Marvel with a friend. I was like, this movie's trash. And he was like, no, oh, this movie's are pretty good. I don't really know what's wrong with me. I don't find any enjoyment in the constant mass production stuff going on. And I know I play Call of Duty and stuff like that, but realistically, even that gets boring to me after a while. I still like Anno. I still like a lot of games. But when I look at the message or a game that I would play for the story, a lot of times I'm turned off the moment that I hear, I, I look at the storyline. And I don't know if I'm the only one that's dealing with this because I feel like I'm the only person that's ever complained like this. But is it possible that we overrepresent people in games? Is it possible that we've destroyed our own culture in order to make money? I don't even know why it is I chose to complain about this. I don't even know if anybody will actually ever watch me complaining about anything. But that's just the nature of the beast, I suppose. I mean, I'm one to talk. I literally use a VTuber model because I'm too afraid to show myself on camera. Right? That's the whole joke. But at the same time, I feel like I create more doing this than anything else and then when i look at other people's creations i'm like did you even try did you just check a bunch of tech marks that people want you to think hey that's good 
That's cool. One of my friends was asking me when I plan to go see Avatar. The new Avatar. Avatar 2. It's a not real life friend. Person I've known practically forever in a day. Well, I hate to disappoint that person. I don't plan on seeing it because... Well, if I want to see set pieces like that, I'll just play Subnautica. I don't really much care for movies that are just scenic set pieces. I want a story. And I know there is a story in Avatar, but it wasn't really well developed. I look at video games that are coming out and I'm like, I don't, I don't see anything that interests me story-wise. I'll probably pick up a few games next year. Or, in the next year but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be really surprised about anything I mean I look at Starfield and I go well it's going to be Fallout 4 in space I just hope they got rid of Preston I look at the YouTube what they're force feeding me on my thing and a lot of people don't know this I don't always use the Wirewolf account to watch content I do if I don't care about people knowing who I am. But for the most part, I don't actually use the Wirewolf account to watch videos. But even then, like I said, I look at what's pushed to me on the YouTube algorithm and it's nothing related to what I watch. It's just the point where I don't know what's wrong with me. I was going to do a video on pay to rent when, but every time I turn around, it seems like we use the same stupid models to make a quick buck. Kind of tired of it. I don't know about you. Anyways, sorry about the ramble. Love you guys. Mean it. You're fucking awesome. Comment down below about things that just kind of bug you about life, I guess. Make sure you like and subscribe. Join the Neko Militia soon. Coming soon. You guys will be able to interact with me in a whole new way. Because I care about my friends. I care about media. I care about getting my voice out there. Also, if you're not, if you're only subscribed to me on YouTube, you may end up missing half the show. Because we're also adding... We're also adding more and more stuff on the back end every day. Until next time, my dudes. Stay sexy.